I just picked up this Lenovo ThinkPad T470P from Facebook Marketplace for only 90 bucks. And honestly, it looks like it's in really good condition. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the T470P and see if it was worth the $90 I spent on it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. So a few months back, I was searching for a solid family laptop and ended up buying a ThinkPad T480. Also got that from Facebook Marketplace. And that thing has been an absolute workhorse. Really happy with that purchase. I actually made a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. But after using the T480, I really started getting more interested in ThinkPads in general. And since then, I've been keeping an eye out for local good deals. And that's when I stumbled upon the T470P here. Originally, the seller had it listed at 125 bucks, and it just kind of sat there for a while with no bites. So he dropped the price to 100, and I then decided to shoot him a message and offered him 90 bucks. And to my surprise, he accepted it very quickly. And looking back, I should have probably offered him 80, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, funny enough, it turns out that this is the same seller I bought the T480 from a few months ago. Uh, here's a screenshot of that chat just to show you guys. And I think one of the big reasons why this never sold is he never used the word ThinkPad in the description for the ad. He just wrote Lenovo Laptop. So setting up Windows 11 was painless. I did have to do a little workaround to avoid needing to set up the Microsoft account. But other than that, I really had no issues. So what are the specs of this ThinkPad T470? Well, this has an i7-7820HQ, which has four cores and eight threads. Uh, it's got eight gigs of RAM, a 256 gig SSD. And I didn't realize this till afterwards, but this actually has a NVIDIA 940MX GPU. And as you can see, it already had Windows 11 installed. And when it comes to Windows 11, the i7-7820HQ is kind of an interesting uh, chip because if you go to the official list of CPUs that support Windows 11, the 7820HQ is on it. However, as you can see here, it's only for the Dell Precision 5520 and the Surface uh, Studio 2. And in 2021, Lenovo devices were removed. Not sure why, but as you can see, this one already had Windows 11 installed. And taking a quick look around Windows 11, and specifically in Task Manager, uh, Task Manager wasn't showing a GPU, and at this time I didn't even know this had the 940MX in it. Uh, but honestly, the only thing I wish I had was dual channel RAM in this. Um, I do want to try some light gaming on this and feel like, you know, you need dual channel and you need 16 gigs of RAM. So I will be adding an additional eight gigs of RAM into this. And as for the ports here on the left side, we have a power connector, we have one USB 3.0 port, and we also have a headphone jack. And on the right side, we have a micro SIM card slot. We have two USB 3.0 ports again. We have an ethernet port, and we have a mini display port, and we also have a HDMI port. Unfortunately, no Thunderbolt 3 on this model, uh, even though the regular T470, the non-P non -P version, does have it. The P stands for performance here, and when it comes to general web browsing, the ThinkPad T470P handles things very well. You can comfortably run multiple tabs in Chrome, Firefox, or Edge without any stutter, uh, especially for day-to-day -day tasks like reading articles, checking emails, or scrolling through social media. As far as YouTube playback, 1080p video runs flawlessly. Whether you're watching your favorite podcast or tech reviewer, the 14-inch display is full HD at 1920 by 1080 and looks great in my opinion. It still holds up even though this is an eight-year-old laptop. Overall, for everyday internet use and streaming, the T470P still delivers a solid experience. So before I try out any gaming or anything else on this laptop, I am going to attempt to upgrade the RAM here. Uh, like I said, this only has one 8 gig stick of RAM, and I really want to add another 8 gigs, so I do have an extra um, stick of RAM lying around. Um, I did upgrade the RAM on the T480 with no issues, so hopefully I won't have any issues with this. 
Okay, so I did end up having an issue with uh, two of the screws on the back of this uh, ThinkPad. Uh, even though I kept uh, loosening them up, uh, they were completely loosened up. They just were not coming out for some reason. They were basically stuck. I think they were either bent or misshapen or something. And I was able to eventually pry out, uh, pry open the back. But it, I did end up having three little marks now on the side of the ThinkPad. But it just kind of is what it is. So uh, there's my stick of RAM, my 8 gigs of RAM. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, add that extra stick that I have lying around right here. And so this part's very easy. And it just goes in just like this. And there you go, uh, extra RAM installed. All right, now I'm just gonna close this up and reinstall those screws and we'll be good to go. So first thing I did was run the Heaven benchmark test. And as you guys can see, it's getting pretty toasty in there already, getting really hot. Uh, kind of kicking myself for not adding fresh thermal paste when I already had this open. It was a pain in the butt to get this open, but I guess I'm gonna have to eventually uh, reopen this up and apply some fresh thermal paste. And I ended up getting a score of 587 with an FPS of 23.3. This ThinkPad 470p can handle a lot of older games as long as you don't mind playing on low settings. So here's Dirt 4 on low settings 720p. And as you can see, I'm getting a respectable 60 frames per second here. I then moved these settings from low settings to medium settings, and as you can see, the FPS did drop below 60, but still playable in my opinion. And next up, of course, I had to try Fortnite, and what I did was I put it in performance mode, capped the frame rate at 60 FPS, and dropped the resolution down to 720p, and obviously the goal here was try to get a consistent 60 FPS. As you guys can see, the T470P is trying its hardest to stay at a consistent 60 FPS here. Uh, and yeah, I know the temps are crazy high, uh, but I will be changing the thermal paste after this video. And the last thing I wanted to try with the T470P was some simple video editing with CapCut. Uh, I didn't really have any issues. What I did was I exported a 1080p 60fps video uh, that was 5 minutes and 14 seconds long. And when I exported it, it took 2 minutes and 20 seconds to export. So not too bad really. So for 90 bucks, I think the T470P was well worth it. I did see some recent sales on eBay for the T470P and they range from $140 to 340 US dollars. So yeah, $90 in my opinion is great for this. Uh, not really made for gaming, but can do some light gaming on it. Uh, this is great for a daily driver. If you're gonna get one, I would definitely get 16 gigs of RAM and definitely reapply that thermal paste. But that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this deal in the comments. Uh, if you have a T470P or a different ThinkPad model, uh, which one would you recommend? And please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.